There we go, guys. We did it. We got the win. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome to yet another gameplay video. First of all, it is great to be back. If you guys missed our giveaway announcement, I do apologize. There was not a video on it. I'm going to go ahead and let everybody know and I did so in the challenge series as well. The winner was Pat McGrath. McGath? Uh, I believe it was Pat. I know it was Pat, uh, but it was chosen over on Instagram. We did roll a dice and we got uh, the Instagram was the chosen platform and then we picked a random subscriber. So Pat, congratulations, my friend. I do appreciate you as well as everybody else being a part of that giveaway. Absolutely fantastic opportunity to be able to do stuff like that. Um, it's not something that we take very lightly. It is a very important piece of what we do. And so we really do appreciate everybody being a piece of that uh, and, and being a part of our community. So thank you guys so much. But without further ado, let's talk this deck. We're looking at mono white aggro in standard today. I know we've been playing a lot of historic, but every once in a while I like to throw in a little bit of standard for you guys. Uh, this is an interesting one. So this is uh very very aggressive mono white so we've got a lot of uh very early drops with really legion angel being the only one that we've got we do have of course the three legion angels in the sideboard as well here uh but basically three and below is what we're looking at and the idea is to play multiple cards a turn uh utilizing things like code spell cleric so if this enters the battlefield if it was the second spell you put a one one counter on a creature uh monk of the open hand whenever you cast your second spell each turn put a 1-1 one, one counter on this uh paladin class is really here to kind of shut down the opponent on our turn but then also if we can level it up ideally it's going to be able to progress us uh, a lot faster to the win especially if we can get it to level two where it becomes an anthem for our team uh portable hole only a two of in this list but it just allows us to get stuff out of the way. Uh, if we happen to be against like <clears throat> a, uh, a black graveyard deck for whatever reason, getting something like a Mire Triton off the field that has Death Touch could be really, really beneficial for us. Uh, and so throwing this out is really, really good. Uh, Usher of the Fallen. <laughs> excuse me, a great way to uh, spit out a few extra little 1-1 one -one tokens without utilizing the cards in our hand. Uh, if we can get this out and if we can get this thing attacking early, I would much rather be throwing tokens out with this than playing the cards in our hand. And why, it's very simple. Ideally, it's just not basically pushing everything from our hand onto the field and then we're susceptible to things like sweepers or something along those lines. This can be kind of a one-man army, uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, Clarion Spirit, again, anytime we cast our second spell each turn, you get another 1-1, one -one, a great way to throw out some extra creatures as well. Luminarch Aspirant, throw some counters around. In the three drop slot, Elite Spellbinder, a great way, again, to stall out the opponent's interactive spells, big bombs, things like that. Uh, re re Redan, Redan, I don't know. Snowlands, your opponent's control, enter the battlefield tapped, very helpful. Non-creature spells, your opponent's, ca opponent's cast with mana value four or greater, cost two extra to cast. So again, uh, in particular sweepers, this prolongs that. So we wanna get that down ideally on turn three, uh, just to make sure that they are not sweeping the, that following turn. Skyclave Apparition, sort of a portable hole on a creature. Uh, that's a weird sentence, but ideally this gets stuff out of the way so we can continue the onslaught. Uh, and then, like I said, Legion Angel at the top. 18 Snow Covered Plains with four Faceless Haven. Interestingly, not running the Faceless Haven combo where we can make this indestructible and make it, uh, or not indestructible, basically make it so we can't lose the game. Um, we're not running that. But that is very much a combo in in uh, standard right now. And so what we're seeing, or at least what I have experienced, is a lot of people will feel to ruin this like off the face of it, uh, which is kind of fine because for us, it's just deck thinning. Uh, while this is a creature long term, and it does provide us with a way to finish the game around sweepers. Um, it isn't necessarily as needed as it would be in that deck. So it's actually not the end of the world if they... Uh, uh, um field of ruin this uh but regardless guys it's a very fun deck it's a very aggressive deck let's go ahead and we're gonna send it through three games hopefully see how it does hopefully get a few wins and have a lot of fun today 
And here we are for game number one, guys. This is a pretty solid hand, actually. We've got the Paladin classes, very, very strong, but also we've got a Clarion Spirit turn two, and then maybe can double up on turn three or play the Raidin, Raidan, whatever. The God of the Worthy, that's the one. Um, but a very, very strong start. Paladin class, just a fantastic early game play. Not only does it kind of help us uh, stall out the opponent a little bit, but again, getting that power down to level two uh, and even level three, can really shut down a game quick. Uh, now again, we do want to lean towards aggression as as best we can. Uh, depending on what we're against, we will of course have to kind of be flexible against the certain style decks here, but uh, the idea is very much to get damage in as quickly as we can, and hopefully we can do that. Uh, opponent kind of taking a bit to start us off, but that's okay. Looks like this will be a very good play because it is potentially going to shut down some of the opponent's stuff here. Another Paladin class, that's actually not the end of the world for us because, again, that does op open up a uh, turn three where we play multiple things a turn. Um, that being said, I think we're going to end up playing the God of the, the Worthy here as quickly as we can just so um, we can get their lands coming into play tapped, which is very, very nice. It is going to hopefully shut them down a good bit. Um, I'm assuming they just play Lovestruck Beast? Sure. Makes sense. Uh, I'd love a portable hole here, actually. It would, um, potentially get some stuff out, but we'll see. Um, and there it is, actually. Okay, so now we do have a choice to make. Um, we can just play this down and that be it. Uh, alternatively, we can portable hole, get the 1-1 one -one out of there, and then also play, like, a cleric, uh, as well as even a paladin class. Um... I actually think I like that. That's gonna shut down the opponent slightly here. So if we get this out of the way, just means they can't do this. Um, since this is the second spell this turn, we get this down. Um, I'm gonna throw it here so we have a good blocker. Uh, this just allows us to block the 2-2, unless of course they um, level this up, which is a very decent play. This uh, Ranger class, really all the class cards are very, very strong. I very much enjoy them. Um, it's uh it's pretty solid honestly all right let's see what the opponent wants to do we do i mean like i said we do need to get aggressive here so at some point this is uh gonna be a bit of a problem for us but we might be able to get somewhere um okay so this does have trample i'm just gonna take it because there's not a big reason not to uh if that makes sense there's there's nothing major that it could do um, I'm going to play the, this here. I feel like that might just be the best bet. Let's get this down as well. It's going to give us another little one, one here, and I'm just going to attack in here for one, trying to keep this away from the ultimate, obviously, but next turn, we actually should be able to do quite a bit of damage here and potentially even finish it off once we level up one or two of these paladin classes. So we'll see. Um, but I very much, uh, like where we're headed this turn we are going to probably take a good bit of damage though that is a bit sad but it's not the end of the world all right interesting okay so the play i think is very clear we're just going to level this up um we are going to attack in killing this um i'm leaving up as much as i can here because we don't just want to die to some random thing um and i'm gonna throw that out we'll see how this goes i'm a little nervous though because obviously they do have quite a bit um of damage to to worry about here and we really haven't even touched their life total uh thankfully that does come into play tapped but still not gonna quite do it here so let's see what they attack in with interesting I find this to be not a great attack, but that's okay. Uh, all right, they found that out too, obviously. Um, all right, so... Hmm. Let's do this. All right, so three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that could be a lot, but I actually think we... I think we just attack this way maybe this too i don't think so though i think we're just gonna attack here um 
that's a decent chunk of damage, but I think this leaves us enough blocks that I'm okay with this. Um, we do have to worry about this spirit, though. This is very much a, a disastrous card for us. Ooh, Great Hinge is very good as well. What an interesting game. This is mono green versus mono white. Uh, and I mean, they're doing really well. Um, we do have to worry about dying this turn, so. <laughs> okay. Put a 1 1 counter on the werewolf, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we do kill the werewolf. Uh, neither of these has trample, which is very interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the play. Uh, the reason I kill the werewolf, by the way, is that it uh, represents card draw for them, which is obviously really bad. Now here we've got some plays. Um, let's do this. See what they've got in their hand. Wow. Uh, okay, I think we have to take that then. Um, let's throw this down. Uh, we're going to throw a counter here. All right, so let's just see. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's not enough to win if we do that. Um, so I think we just attack like this. So close. Did I miscount that? I did not. Okay, good. Just making sure. I was one short. I was really thinking. I was really thinking. Uh, glad that that worked out okay. All right, so... What do we think they could have is my question. I mean, Elder Gargaroth is very scary, but it's not going to kill us this turn. It does have reach, which is something we have to think about. But if they can't kill us this turn, we should be able to win. Um, okay. Do any of these have trample? No. Okay. So we block here. Block here. Let's do this, let's do this, and then that gives us as many flying threats as we can possibly ask for. All right, and I think that that means we win. Um, I guess just to be safe, let's do this. All right, uh, and then we do this. Yeah, okay, but this does win us the game. Oh, they gain three life, though. Hold on. Oh, no, it's just enough still. Oh, man, this has been a very uh, difficult one. We exactly won it. What a game. All right. Well done, us. We got a win. That was a little bit scary. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into game number two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And unfortunately, this is not really a keepable hand. If we if either of these were a white land, we would easily keep it. But we just can't. This is much better. Um and yeah we'll keep all of this uh the question really is which one of these do we want to put back and i don't know i mean we'll go this route because i think that the elite spellbinder might be a bit better but actually in this circumstance turns out i might have been wrong uh looks like we are up against potentially another mono green list which is obviously um a little scary oh it's not mono green okay cool um so let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to portable hold this thing. Get it out of here. Uh, and then we throw the cleric down, which then puts a 1-1 counter on itself, which just makes it a nice little 2-2 two -two for 1. I like it. Um, let's see what we can get next turn then. Elite Spellbinder is very, very good. We also just can level this up, though. So we'll, we'll see what we want to do. I like it. I think we'll be good. Opponent played a green source and then nothing. All right, so what's the expectation? Um, I'm expecting a counter spell. With that in mind, I'm going to play the Spellbinder and see if we can bait. Maybe not a counter spell, though. It's not double blue. Let's get a peek at their hand. This could be very good information for us just in general. So let's see what they've got. Um, they may have an, a, uh, a spell to cast here, which is kind of OK, but huh. <laughs> okay. Um, 
I'm going to take the decisive denial. Uh, that does counter stuff. G granted, it's not the end of the world for us because, um, you know, we don't actually need all that much mana for our decks, so we kind of have a decent amount going for us. But here, I assume they just opt. I mean, that's about all they can do. Hopefully, though, uh, we'll be in good shape. They do have to spend extra mana to do that. Uh, thanks to Paladin class. Again, such a great little uh, spell here. Next turn, we can just level it up. We'll just see what we want to do, but... Ah, that probably is going to be the best bet, especially with this down. Um, now, they can Blizzard Brawl this turn uh, just to get some stuff out here. Maybe you can look at the top three cards. Your library of Vila Manco, put it in your hand. Okay, Quandrix of Princess, very good. Um, but again, I mean, they're, they're having to... Uh, to face basically two very decent creatures against what they've got is a 2-2, so we should be okay. Theoretically, we need to draw some action. Let's just say that. Cool. Uh, part of me wishes I had taken that now, but that's okay. Um, all right, so... Huh. I'm actually going to just uh, attack in and see what they do. If they want to trade this off, kind of okay with it, to be honest. They don't? Good. All right, so now we can safely do this. That was a bit of a, a flex play. I was kind of seeing if they wanted to trade off here. They didn't, uh, but now this actually makes it so their lands are going to come into play tapped, which is great. Uh, and next turn, we obviously can just Paladin class, get a lot more damage in, and then we're kind of good. So that kind of worked out great. Uh, very good card, obviously, to draw. Um, I like this. I like this deck a lot. I'm not normally a white player. I I'm not a huge white fan. It's like my least favorite color. Um, but we're actually doing okay with it, so I'm pretty happy with it. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to decide with my fiance what we want for lunch, uh, because we have options. So, uh, let's power you up. I'm gonna leave up the mana. Let's attack in for now, obviously. Both of these do have Vigilance, which is just super convenient. Uh, and now we just throw this guy out, which immediately has two uh, because of this. So, next turn, we can just Paladin class one more time, get it all the way to level three, or we can Faithless Haven. Either way, we're in very good striking distance. Faceless Haven, Haven would represent lethal, uh, which is very nice. So we'll see. They're, I'm assuming going to fight something here, though. Um, the trick is the only real thing that they can fight is this 2-2, which doesn't actually win them the game uh, because we can then Faceless Haven and attack. So we'll see. I don't know. I feel pretty good about this. I feel pretty good. This is a cool deck, though. Uh, the Quadrix colors are, in general, are just really sweet. Um, I really like them. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna activate Faceless Haven. I'm not gonna play anything. We're just gonna go for it here. They would have to spend five mana to to do this. So we're just attacking with everything. If they want to block, that's fine. They can fight something, but that doesn't seem good enough. I think they just have to jump block here, the Faceless Haven. They can fight then the Monk if they'd like, uh, which would make sense. Um, that gets rid of this, but also blocks the Faceless Haven. That makes the most sense for sure. Uh, they also get the, the Magecraft there. Cool. All right, um, I will go ahead and play out the Clarion Spirit. Again, it's just more more fodder for this. They're not going to have sweepers, so every threat we can play is going to be worthwhile. Um, they also didn't have mana, so that's very helpful. Let's go ahead and level up Paladin class here. We're going to keep the Deafening Clarion, uh, or the Faceless Haven, excuse me. But there we go, guys. We did it. We got the win. That's two. That's two in a row. Let's see if we can do three for three. Feeling pretty good with this deck.
All right, guys, here we are for our third and final game. Uh, now, the question is, do we want to keep this? Um, and I think we do. I think this is OK. Really wish we had a second white source actually here, though, uh, just given that we've got uh, such an interesting hand here, it would actually be very helpful. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's see what we can do. Opponent playing a Temple of Triumph. Okay, I like it. I like it. Uh, let's play this. Let's play... Let's play the Usher of the Fallen. Again, I want to get aggressive as quickly as we can, um, and I just think that that makes the most sense. So let's see if that works. Uh, opponent going to be playing the Light Scribe. Very uh, frustrating card for sure. Uh, I'm actually going to offer the trade here. Um and go ahead and activate the ability. So if they want to trade off on this, that's perfectly fine, but chances are they don't because the Light Scribe is such a high value creature for them. So I didn't think they would trade off, but I figured, you know what, let's give it a shot. Let's see if they want to go for it. They don't. Um, and then instead, they're going to be doing this. Perfect. All right, I am, I'm ordering food at the moment, guys, so I apologize. Um, do I want to... actually do kind of want to block so here's the trick guys the uh this deck is very frustrating to play against because it's very very good at um powering down everything uh that we do which is frustrating because they basically just outpower us like over and over again the idea being that they play a bunch of spells power this up with magecraft and then they're good to go that's scary uh and so any amount of life that we can save now is probably worth it here i'm not gonna block because it is only two but anywhere else i probably would have a portable hole i really wish we had another land like that would be very helpful right now um i'm gonna portable hole and immediately take care of this um this can't block but specifically we can so i am gonna just wait on this all right Let's see, let's order this, let's... I'm expecting this to die, but that's fine. All right, that's fine. We saved ourselves a good bit of life here, uh, which I think is worth it. We need a land, we really need a land. Um, All right, there's the Lumamancer. That's a scary card. Okay, whoo, goodness gracious, thank you. Um, that's really helpful, honestly. Um, let's do this, and then let's do this. Thankfully, they're kind of wearing down their hand a good bit here, which is kind of nice. Uh, I am gonna put it here. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, they're gonna attack in. Um, I'm gonna do this. Oh wow, they did not have anything. What? Why would they attack in? Um, okay, interesting, very interesting. So we may have just swung the battle in our favor a good bit here. Um, let's play Paladin class. Let's play another one of these. Just gonna put a counter up here. Um, let's keep putting the counters there. Uh, and let's play a second Paladin class. Um, now the question is, do we want to attack in? I'm going to say no. I think this is going to be really good for us, though. They can attack with the five, which is scary, but we are most likely just going to block it. No, I'm not. I'm going to take it. We're going to try and take it. Okay. So we probably should have blocked it there, but that's okay. Um, let's do this. Uh, and let's play an Usher. I'm gonna attack in here with the five. I'm curious to see how this plays out. Okay, we do really want to get aggressive here pretty quickly because, and maybe I should have attacked last turn as well, but, um, okay, interesting. They're not gonna attack with that. Um, oh, this has to be double blocked. Whoops. Uh, let's do this and let's do this. If they have a land, that kind of sucks, but um, they didn't. Okay. I mean, it's still very good, but uh, let's do this. Let's play another Paladin class. And we might just be dead here, unfortunately, because of the life that they've 
gotten out of this. Okay. Ugh, we probably should have blocked or gotten aggressive a little bit sooner, uh, and we didn't. So that's probably on us, but here we just lose because we can't block both of these. Um, we can block this, but we can't do this. So we just lose. Man, so close. Oh, I was hoping we could get there, but that's okay. I was a little distracted during that game. I apologize. I was picking up some food, but let's talk about this deck. All right, so mono white aggro, very, very aggro. Uh, with the, the class involved, I very much like this this deck. I think this is a very good ladder deck. It's very cheap. It's not very expensive in terms of wild cards. I mean, it's like very, very aggressive. Can kind of play both roles because it not only shuts down a lot of what the opponent does, but it also can be very aggressive. So all around, super positive list. I highly recommend trying this one out, especially if you are on the standard best of one ladder. Great way to just kind of level up very, very quickly. You don't have to put a lot into it. Uh, just fantastic all around. So very much enjoyed it. I'm sad we lost that last game. I think we were pretty close. Probably a little more on my end on that one, so I do apologize. I was I was ordering lunch and I got sidetracked. I'm so sorry. But regardless, guys, it was a fun one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys again very soon for some more gameplay videos.